WDYT News Channel 3, where the news comes first. Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. A tragic, fiery end to a day-long police standoff in the Carpinteria Valley. It started about 6.30 this morning on the 100 block of Ocean View. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri was there. It was a tense morning in Carpinteria when a heavily armed man refused to come out of a trailer. This is the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Department. There's nowhere for you to go. We have a signed warrant, search warrant, and arrest warrant for you. You need to come out of the trailer with your hands up. The Sheriff's Department says a business owner found his stolen truck on Ocean View and knew the person, Christopher Kump, he said, took it from his property. Neighbors saw the response unfold. Some were evacuated. A tiered response. They layered it. They were very careful, very patient, and very professional. Before we knew it, I mean, there was a lot of officers, all armed, and it looked like a very serious situation. After several hours and just after tear gas was shot into the trailer. Perimeter four, we now have uh, large flames coming out of the north side of the trailer. This thing's getting hot real fast. Smoke started billowing up. It's very likely that he was attempting to set off fires inside the trailer. Firefighters arrived as ammunition pops could be heard from the trailer. The scene was carefully controlled. While this was unfolding, what they didn't know was Kump was wearing body armor. He had 1,000 rounds of ammunition, and the Sheriff's Department says he had a military-style rifle with a grenade launcher attachment. Investigators say Kump had also been arrested the night before on a narcotics charge and left the hospital without permission. He was found dead in the burned trailer from what the Sheriff's Department believes was a self-inflicted gunshot at the time the fires were set. The stolen truck was found near the trailer where the suspect had been holed up all day. The owner of that truck came from his company after dark to retrieve it. In Carpinteria, John Palmentary, News Channel 3. Protesters are back at it in Minneapolis tonight. They're angry about a police shooting that left a young man dead.